Where's the chicken? Okay. And where's the cat? Cat rabbit. Rabbit, good job. Rabbit. Rabbit. And where's the dog? Dog. And where's the chicken? Chicken. chicken. Good job. And where's the cat? Cat. Good job. Where's the pig? Good job. Where's the horse? No, where's the horse? Good job. And where's the cow? Here's the cow, baby. That's the one you keep getting stuck on. Where's the cow? It's okay. You can try it. Look at his face. All done? No, you're not all done. Okay, show me again. Where's the chicken? Start over. Do you, <laughs> you think it's funny? <laughs> okay, where's the... Hey, guys. It's like 3 o'clock, and I'm just now getting out of the house. But first stop, as always, was my leasing office to pick up some hair. It's like cool getting packages every day between like um, my hair reviews and like just being obsessed with Amazon and lately a lot of random companies have been sending me like little stuff um, as well but it's annoying when I have to come over here to get the FedEx stuff um, anyways we're headed down the street to the mall if you have a toddler and you are a stay-at-home madre you know how frustrating it can be to have a toddler i feel like with baby with like bloggers and vloggers and stuff like that they don't really talk about like the downside to being a parent and it's not really a downside literally but just the whole um like they make it seem like everything's so peachy and just so amazing like i love my son unconditionally and you know when he needs it, he can get disciplined and I can give him a kiss and we can cuddle, you know, immediately after. But when he wants to be a menace, he's going to be a menace. And what I've learned, and one of the biggest reasons it was important to get a second car, is that when he wants to be a menace and we're just like in the house, it just gets more and more and more and more frustrating. So it's best to like, stop you know and remove him from the house and put him in an environment that he wants to be in let him be himself that way he can you know take a nap after have something to eat somewhere in between that and he can be back to his normal self today was supposed to be a zoo day for us um, because they had to cut the power out in our building to do some kind of something I don't know um, they ended up not cutting the power out so we never left for the zoo daddy really didn't want us to go to the zoo anyway because of all the stuff that's going on with Syria and all that stuff just staying away from like you know big you know um, what do you call it? like big places I guess you can say populated places which I understand so we didn't go and then my second option was to take him to take pictures today his each his Easter pictures but um, I bought him an outfit and he was supposed to take pictures weeks and weeks and weeks ago but we were having issues with his hair and all that other stuff so um, I had to make sure that the outfit fit and then I want to just go ahead and buy another picture package online and then I can make sure the shoes to fit and everything fit good so I didn't want to be like half doing it um because he just needs a lot of pictures in general it's been a while since he's took pictures like a long while um so yeah the plan is we are here pulling in I'm gonna let him play we're gonna park in the food court I'm gonna grab him a quesadilla and make some ice um, so he can put something on his belly for lunch. He hasn't really had lunch yet But he probably won't want it because he's gonna be so excited to play and I'm gonna let him play um, I'm giving him an hour to play But sometimes he doesn't want to even play that long, but I'm sure today he will and then hopefully from there I can put him in the stroller and he'll go to sleep and take a nap and then um, I'll do as much shopping as I can from there so 
usually these days oh and it's farmers market today it's Tuesday so I might look in the farmers market when we come back out because I used to love the farmers market when I used to work at my old job I would go every Thursday it was right outside of my building and I would get like flowers when I was single for my little bachelorette apartment um, fresh fruit they usually have like different exotic fruits but I don't know hopefully I'll be um, a little bit better of a vlogger today and bring you guys in the mall with me so kudos to my local mall for always holding it down for the family parking right in the front okay. you ready to go play you go see the kids hi boo Hi, Boo. You ready to go play? Car. It's a car? Yes, yeah, a car, baby. Car. Yeah, you want to go play? Car. You want to go see the kids? Yeah, okay. okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. done playing I am exhausted why you gotta touch it don't touch just eat it stop I'm gonna take it you finish okay we'll eat it stop playing with me it's cold he doesn't want to put his shoes back on because he thinks he's going back to play but he's not mommy have some gave me a run for my money he played so hard but I'm so proud of him he did so good with the kids and playing but look at my floor y'all I need to go to the car wash and get a vacuum but not today <sighs> I couldn't forget my eyes why am I so, so zoomed in no 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 I couldn't. Jeez, come on now. You finished it? I almost forgot my ice from Coffee Bean. That would have been so tragic. Derek um, tried to help me out. You want some water? No. What ice? Derek tried to help me out. He killed his drink, so I'm gonna refill it with some water. And then it's kind of gotten warm because it's been sitting in the car for like an hour. So I'll share some ice. He played hard, so I know that he's thirsty. The ice in there. You got ice? The ice like mommy? I got him a case of deer. Why does it feel so heavy? Oh. Got me a drink from there and I got him a quesadilla. He finished half of it, it's like four squares, so he finished two. 
I think he's gonna fall asleep while we're um, driving. I still put his shoes back on um, from playing. But he'll have the other half of it later. I didn't get myself anything. Usually I'll eat the quesadilla with him. But I cooked enchiladas last night and it came out really good. Um, so I'm gonna eat, I wanna eat that when I get home. So I got a side of guacamole for me to go with my enchiladas. And he has quesadilla and he can of course eat some of my enchiladas as well. But I stopped at Jimboree. I frequent Jimboree every time I try to find stuff for the babies, for the kids. And I never ever find nothing. So since Diamond has been born, this is the first time I've actually hauled for him. And the reason I went in there are these shorts. They caught my attention. I thought they were super duper 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 cute. Um, I got 2T. Most of his clothes are 2T, but I don't know when he's going to turn 3T yet. So I got a 2. I thought these were really cute. They had some Vans, like slip-ons that match. But they, um, they only had like a size 6. And then like the big boy sizes. And... Um, so I couldn't get him those, but I wanted them to match. This is a cute little outfit. Um, if we don't go anywhere special for Easter, then he might wear this. Um, and it has the matching shirt to go with it. And whenever I buy him something that um, has colors in it that he doesn't really have anything of, I like to buy at least two shirts to match. So basically, he has this, which is what he'll wear on the first day that he wears this. And then an alternate shirt is the orange. Um, I don't know like whenever I bought like I said whenever like I said whenever I buy stuff for him that is like a new color I like to go ahead and like buy two or three like shirts to match the shorts or if there's a shirt and it's a color he doesn't have anything of buy a few items that will um, complement it so that it's just not one outfit with no extras and then really cute they had three for ten on the underwear and I can never find um, boxers his size i can find the chones the the panties kind or the briefs to be completely correct but they had extra extra small and extra extra small is a 2t so i got him these i got him all the bright cute ones because i just like you know color but he is in the process of being potty trained so i thought these were cute three for ten um, I'm trying to go hard this month and get him comfortable wearing underwear and telling me he needs to pee. The goal is to have him there by his birthday. And of course he'll make accidents and stuff like that, but I just want him in that space where he knows the full system of I'm going to wear these underwear with no diaper and I'm not going to pee. You see, mommy. Come on. I'm gonna play. Oh, I can feel you right here. Watch this. This is what I'm talking about. Nursing never did anything halfway. You see, big girl. Ooh, it's my little baby. You're my big girl. Come on, Coco.
Hi, can I get a grande ice uh, caramel macchiato? A grande ice caramel macchiato? Yes, that'll be it. Alright, you're the one now. Hi, this will be 465 today. Thank you. Thank you. Will you, Thank you. Give me the receipt? Yes, please. Got it. Okay, well, here you go. Thanks so much. Thank you. I could have sworn I said yes, I want a receipt, but I guess she I always ask for a receipt, but honestly, I hate receipts. Um, but I just feel like when they ask you if you want a receipt and you don't get your receipt, like something gonna randomly pop up on your fucking like, credit card statement or debit card statement in this case. But I am exhausted. It is 12:30. My lips are chapped. I need to put these big ass glasses on my face because I am looking so tired. I honestly don't know if it's this pregnancy that's just got me out of it well i do know it is this pregnancy that got me out of it um today is story time for diamond and like i just could not get up we got up thank god um, we went to second session and um, we actually made it on time actually we were there early because like i woke up and we've been so many times i know the schedule but i genuinely could not remember what time it started like if it was 11 11 30 11 45 11 i genuinely like for the life of me if it was the million dollar question we would have lost a million dollars like this pregnancy is starting to catch up to me i'm just starting to get like exhausted i guess so it took everything out of me to get out of bed i feel like i went to the club last night and was trying to wake up for work like it literally like i've never been so tired from doing nothing like all but like i came home we took a nap um, Derek went to Hot and Juicy Crawfish and got us some crab legs to go. I, when he got back, I was still sleeping. I didn't even want to eat. Like, I don't know. I just feel so exhausted. So. Diamond had a hard time getting up, too, because um, usually when I wake him up in the morning, I say, you want to go see the kids? You want to go play? You want to go sing head, shoulders, knees, and toes? He usually hops up and gets excited, but he cried the whole time I got him dressed. My body, you know your, how your body feels when you have a hangover and you're just, like, so drained and exhausted that you could fall asleep anywhere that's how i feel but i need to push through it because i don't want to overwhelm myself or the baby but i don't want to slow down until may like it's still april and she's not due till june 1st so i don't really want to slow down and now we will be right back okay so we're back it's like an hour later um, the plan was to go to the mall and drop off our, or get our jewelry serviced and cleaned. But I also, like I said before, want to get him some pictures taken in that same mall. And, um, their book. Like, I was going to just go and get our jewelry cleaned there today. And go take, um, his pictures tomorrow. But it kind of doesn't make sense. So, I called and scheduled him an appointment. Um... blast this AC so hot so it's three o'clock I feel like we've been in the mall for at least two hours way longer than I expected I really just wanted to go in there and look for him some shoes I went to Macy's Carter's Jamboree Children's Place not Carter's but Children's Place Jamboree Baby Gap H&M um Crazy 8 I went into a ton of different places to look for him some shoes and I couldn't find him any shoes I'll insert a picture here of what his outfit is. By the time you see this, he will have already taken the picture. So I'll just insert the picture from his Easter. But of course, I got us a burrito to go to share to hold us over until dinner. And then, yeah, I spilled half the bag and it hurts to, I can't get over there because I'm too pregnant. But they have the body washes are five dollars at um, bath and body works and i needed some body wash so i got myself three two are right there on the floor but this one smelled really good um a thousand wishes is the body spray that i've been wearing this week so i got the body wash to match that one and then i got one for hubby he doesn't prefer these he prefers like um moisturizing body washes from like target and stuff just because um we both have dry skin so he prefers to use that 
But I still grabbed him one to put in the shower in case ever he wants to switch up. Um, I was gonna grab him two, but when I got to the checkout, I just, I took one out because like I said, he doesn't really, he always, when I ask him if he wants them, he always says no, because he prefers, but I just still got him one anyway. And then we use these in our cars to smell it up. Right now I have a mango one in here and it smells so good. But I picked him up two. Damn it. So I grabbed him crisp morning air and mahogany teak wood. It's hard to find ones that are masculine because it's, of course most of them are like fruity or warm or you know something girly and he doesn't like those. So the aromatherapy is not good. Um, but this one smelled good but it just smelled like fresh, a fresh scent. So hopefully that one will smell good and then this one has like a masculine um, scent. I love the, the, the candle of this so hopefully he'll like it. And then I just grabbed a loofah um, for the shower. I think I should have grabbed two more. One for Diamond because he's going to want to use one. And then um, one for my hospital bag. <clears throat> so that when I shower in the hospital, I can just use a, a loofah. And then throw it away um, while I'm there. And then I went to H&M. My daughter is lacking on bibs. So I wanted to catch her up and make sure she has more than enough bibs. So I just got two packs of the bandana shaped ones and these were $7.99 each. So um, she does already have like maybe five bibs but now she should have more than enough you know until she gets here. Like I said I really couldn't find any shoes so I grabbed these like the Jesus sandals. I got them at the one in the, the brown color and the navy. They both will match. I really don't like these per se. But like I said, I went through the whole mall and I couldn't find anything. So we're going to see what this looks like. And either one of them is going to go back for sure. Because like I said, I really don't like them. Um, um, ready to go? He's ready to go. So we're going to head to the house. We should have been in the house all day today resting because we're both so tired. It's so hot. I can't even just... A fake pump like I'm about to be having the window roll down it's so hot oh my purse is so full of crap I need to organize it I forgot I had these candies I could have used these for his photo shoot but um that's why I rolled down the window because I wanted to talk to you guys and I didn't want it to be too loud but it's so hot I have to turn it up but we just we're leaving the mall now um, we're at the food court where we parked when all else fails and you go to a mall you're not familiar with or you haven't been to in a long time you should park at the food court it's always the best but diamond took pictures um and then we took my our jewelry or i took my our jewelry to get serviced longest thing ever i should have taken it and dropped it off before i went to the picture place we got to the mall about half an hour early so i had time but um i thought it was going to be a quick like five minute thing and it's turned out to be like a 30 45 minute thing and of course diamond was cranky because we were not expecting to spend that much time in the jewelry store but they cleaned my jewelry um and then when she cleaned our earrings which i don't have any earrings in now my my earrings are solitaire diamonds and somehow with her cleaning them when i came back because she told me to come back in about 15 minutes when i came back a whole the whole diamond the whole solitaire diamond was in the bag like out so she said I don't know what happened or what the fuck they do when they clean but the, whatever she did to clean it it made the whole diamond come out which is horrible and then um, diamond or Derek's earrings um, have a lot of diamonds in them and a whole diamond came out while she was cleaning them as well so I don't know what the hell her procedure is or what she was doing but I thought I was just gonna get them clean and get be on our merry way and I ended up having to um, leave them until the end of the month so i gotta go home and put some of my older earrings on because i don't like myself without earrings anyone else like that um besides that and of course diamond was crying in there they asked some questions and why are you having a girl and i'm like you know what i'm not normally a bitch but i just want to go home my son is in here crying and acting crazy and y'all sitting here wanting to have a conversation y'all broke my shit send it out and get it fixed but Diamond took pictures, which is the whole purpose of today. My husband is so proud and surprised that we actually got here on time. But here are his pictures. Um, 
This is one. Who's that, baby? That's D? That's D? Um, and then this is two. I like this one because his foot is up. He wasn't cooperating, but we got a quick smile out of him. Out of him. And then this is three. And that one is a little bit more Easter theme. Well, the first one was Easter theme too, but. Okay. Diamond, you want to eat? Okay. I'm craving an Arnold Palmer from here, and they have good ice here. Like, um, they have the good ice, like coffee bean. It's good ice. Hi, can I get the um, kids' meal chicken tenders one count? Of course. Um, with an Ar Arnold Palmer sweetened. Okay. And do you mind just pulling up the menu? Oh, sure. Okay. And then can I also get a number two? Number two. With an Honor Arnold Palmer sweetened. Okay. Anything else? And that's it. Both with a uh, Chick Fil A sauce. Okay. How many Chick Fil A sauces? Um, four. four. Anything else? That's it. So we do cash or card? Too? Um, card. Okay, I can switch that for you here. This is gonna be cool. Spicy Deluxe with the normal Palmer. Kids meal one strip with the Arnold Palmer as well. Yes. Can I trouble you for um, one buffalo sauce as well? No problem. And let me just get you a drink. Okay. Thank, Thank you so one. much. You know what? Also, can I get a cup of ice? Of just a small cup of ice? Yeah. I almost forgot my ice. Here we go. Thank, Thank you. you. You have a good one. We'll see you soon. You too. Hi, boo. Say hi, boo. D milk gone? Oh wow, you drink all the milk? My baby's so smart. Milk gone? Milk gone? So a lot of times I'm like, hi boo. And he'll sit back, hi boo. <laughs> it's the cutest thing ever.